I'm going to show you a program which is very useful for multitasking and multi-boxing. And what it does is it allows you to use virtual desktops. The quickest way to explain what that means is to just show you. Right now I am at uh, one of four desktops and I'm going to cycle through the desktops that I have set up. Over here I have communications. At this desktop I have my browsers, personal programs, and music. And you'll notice that I can switch between these very quickly and effortlessly. Also, every program window remains in the exact same state and location that I left it. In fact, even the focus stays the same. Like I put my focus over here on this one, over here, it's still here at, my, uh, at this input field where I had clicked previously. So it maintains focus, that's useful. But uh, the most important thing about this is that uh, this means that if you happen to be a multi-boxer, if you're a professional uh, game player, you're using multiple machines to get the same effect along with some soft switching program or um, with a or for example you're using a KVM switch you could actually be losing efficiency so long as your uh, single machine has the ability to run the applications that you need you have enough processing power you have enough RAM you could be switching this fast. And you could also be switching uh, in different methods uh, that I'll show you now. Um, this program, Virtual Win, look right where my mouse is and you'll see how it displays what desktop I'm at. This program can be set up so that you're able to switch by simply touching the edge of your monitor for as little as 50 milliseconds. And that, uh, just switching that quickly with your mouse is more efficient than anything else on the market. So I can switch that quickly. Let's see that again. Here's the mouse. Bam. I'm there. This instant. Virtual Win gives you a number of ways that you can switch windows. You can also just middle click in an open area like my mouse is right now. And then just middle click and drag in any direction that you want to go. Although that won't work in an application, I wanted to demonstrate that because it's still useful for productivity. Note that under the desktop configuration, you don't need to do a two by two uh, layout. You can actually go uh, as much as uh, having 20 windows. So that'd be four by five if you want. I prefer 2x2, two two. that's good enough for me since I already have a dual monitor system anyway. If you're going to be using Virtual Win for the first time, I recommend uh, using the same settings that you see displayed on your screen right now. Uh, under User Interface uh, and Available Windows, List Actions, have these two uh, with check marks. Later on, I'll talk about what those actually do. And then place check marks on these. The act of setting up hotkeys um, allows you a lot of configuration. Uh, all of these are different options available. Uh, right now I just have uh, four very basic options. Move up, down, left, and right. 
And the way that these are uh, configured, I'll display that right now. I've set move right to J and I want to change that. So I'm going to highlight the action that I want to modify and click down here in this input field and then do whatever I want with the keyboard as that action. So cursor here, action. If I want my Windows key to be uh, pressed down as part of the uh, combination, then place a check mark here and then modify. And what I like to do is use Control, Windows, and then an arrow key for my navigation. But you can do whatever you want. And uh, swapping can be as simple as pressing any single key on the keyboard. So uh, very fast. Next, under uh, mouse, I have the following option set up. Uh, I have it set up so that my mouse will not result in changing my desktop unless I am dragging a window at the time. So dragging a window just like this, dragging. And that's how I set it up just for at work. Uh, if I was playing games, then I would remove this check mark. And that would allow me to tap a window and instantly switch just because I touched the edge. And of course, uh, if you're having taps by accident, then you can adjust the delay from anywhere as low as 50 milliseconds or 1 20th of a second up to four whole seconds. I like to enable uh, edge knocking, which means that if I tap the edge of a window, that's not going to move me unless I double tap, which would look like that. I'll swap one window over and then double tap and we'll see how that works. Oh, I forgot, I needed to drag a window at the time. There we go, now it's swapped. Let's try that thing, same thing without needing to drag a window. So just tap, tap. Also, I like to have uh, check marks next to these three options. Uh, middle button desktop changing allows you to change just by uh, clicking in an open area with your mouse and then dragging up, down, left, right. And these other two options relate to bringing up a a list. So I'll close that window there and then middle click in free space and I have two options move here and always show. Now uh, my EverQuest patcher is in a different window. If I want to move it over to this window and I don't want to just drag it over then I can just click right there move here. It just summons a program to your current window. But maybe as I'm moving around, uh, there are certain applications that I want to, to follow me. The way that I can do that is to select Always Show. For example, uh, perhaps I want my EverQuest patcher to show up no matter what desktop I'm at. Now that program follows me. 
and also the state remains the same for each of the windows. So if I minimize it in one window or in at one desktop, then it stays minimized at all of the other desktops as well. And that makes it uh, very intuitive. As a final note, um, Virtual Win can organize your running programs. For example, uh, at my first desktop, I have four programs running. I have four on this one as well. Over here, I have a bunch more. If you're the kind of person that runs as many as 30 or 40 program windows all at the same time, then uh, Windows does not give you enough space and you need to start using additional desktops. Otherwise, uh, the area where your tasks show up on your taskbar will just, uh, it'll get too full. The application Virtual Win is open source, free to use, so uh, you can easily uh, just download that online for free. And it is also available as a portable app, meaning uh, you can run it from a flash drive if you want, or from a network drive.